Well, the first one was magnificent. And the second Street Kings, not so much. and gents in Cyberland coming back to another film review and this time we're moving on to the sequel to Street Kings but it, it doesn't really feel like a full sequel um, just kind of like another film just with the name I hate to say it so Street Kings 2 Motor City. So, seeing the first Street Kings was great. Loved it. Um, very gritty, very dark film. And then at some point, I was searching for some films to watch, and um, I found this. <laughs> Didn't even know there was a Street Kings 2. And I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that. So this film follows a young uh, detective and he works with another detective, Ray Liotta, the late Ray Liotta, the great Ray Liotta. He recently passed. Um, and they're investigating a white supremacist biker gang, but it ends up being a lot more to it. Uh, with some other cops involved and some just, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna level with you guys. This film just was not a good film. Normally I can talk about my reviews of a film. This film is just forgettable. I, I, I um, even, you know, it just was not, it was, it just wasn't entertaining. Um, I found it took me a while to watch this film. Like, literally, like, where I had to... I was falling asleep. Um, I felt like I had seen this before. Um, it reminded me a lot of Training Day and another film that Arnold Sabotage, I believe that's what it was. It had elements of Sabotage that Arnold had done and, and Training Day. And I'm not blaming the actors. The actors and actresses, that wasn't the problem. It just wasn't... I just had seen too much of it before and I just wasn't entertained. The story was forgettable, the story was cliche, like it had been it just it just had been done before. And for people who may have never seen the film, I think they might enjoy it more than I have. It's just I've seen so many films that um, I can enjoy little, you know, Easter eggs of, of, of where, oh this this is, is pulling from this or, or pulling from that. You know, that that's gonna happen, but this just was just too much to where it, it just didn't keep me uh, glued to the TV where I was at, at, you know, I was looking at my phone. I was, I was falling asleep a couple times. Certain times I had to pause the movie and come back to it. It took me, a, it took me like, movies like, what, an hour, an hour and some change. It took me like a couple days to get through the film just because it was just, it just wasn't good. Um... The characters weren't the problem. It was just the story. The story had been a, the the story is a mixture of Training Day and Sabotage. That's exactly what comes to mind. Whereas Street Kings, I didn't feel like I was watching Training Day. Um, I just felt like it, it was just more enticing, more mystery to it. This film just didn't have much of that, and. 
it was just like whatever. It's like I watched it once. I don't intend to watch it again. I wouldn't. I would say um, if you like Street Kings, go in with this. Don't don't go in this with high expectations. I didn't, but at the same time, when I'm falling asleep and I'm I'm not really I'm kind of zoning out. The film's just, that's not a good film for me. Uh, my rating for this film, I'd get a, a four out of ten yes sirs, and I would give it lower. The reason why I don't is because Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta has done so many good films. I, I loved his work outside of just Goodfellas, you know. People always love to say that, but he was great in Copland, which I got to review those two films at one point. Um, he was great in, even though The Iceman was a lot of fiction, um, he was great in there um, for what he did. And... <sighs> You know, I even a film that's totally left field, uh, Karina Karina with Whoopi Goldberg. He was he was great in that. See, now I've seen a lot of films for those for those watch my reviews. Um, I just trying to get through them one by one. Um, he he was just a, a wonderful actor, and I that's the reason why I gave it a four uh, out of ten because he couldn't save the film, but he kept, but when I saw him on the screen, it, it did keep me it it did keep my attention. Um, and that's not to say the other actors and actresses weren't good. It's just the story was just... It's like, whatever. Um, I would say, you know, if, if you can borrow it from somebody, if it shows up on in the movie bin, if you could buy it, you know, if it's like less than five bucks, or if it's streaming on one of those services that has it, if, or if you can get it for free through that, you know, or if you want to sell the high seas, go for it. But I, I would not pay top dollar shoot. I didn't. I didn't pay top dollar to watch this. Um, so, you know, just this is not the greatest review I like to give for a film. It's just it. It just it wasn't memorable. There was just nothing in it that kept me entertained. I mean, I enjoyed Ray Liotta's scenes, but overall, that's not enough. You know. So with that being said, um, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.